What is up, people? What is up, people of the internet? Cosmic adults here. What Yo. is up, Mercedes? <clears throat> so, but what is not up, dude? Like, what the hell is this week? <laughs> it's been pretty Wait, can... intense, I would say. Yeah. Can we talk about that? Can we talk about the week? Like, like what the actual hell? Like, I... So, I went through a whole <laughs> ordeal. I'll call it an ordeal. I was not the only one. I know that for freaking sure. Uh, I I heard of like three to four different people who went through the same ordeal I did. Um, yeah, please speak to the astrology because I feel, I feel like that's what it was. There are quite a few things I think going on, but I think one of the most important things, I, th I don't even remember if we talked about in our like last week's episode was like the full moon. Sometimes we speak about, you know, the full moons and the new moons, you know, because they happen very often. <laughs> we don't, I guess, bring them all the time. But like this week had a pretty, I would, in my book, it was an intense full moon because it was again in a t-square and, and a lot of people and a lot of astrologers say you know they see this full moon in Sagittarius you know moon in Sagittarius usually in a, uh, you know quite an optimistic more jolly even if it's a full moon full moon still like emotions bubbling up everything has come to like a well, not everything but a lot of thing a lot of things have come to like a finishing point a culminating culmination point and that's a full moon there's a lot of emotions up in the air there and um but in this case it had even like a neptune t-square um as well so you know we can say we can say some of our, our illusions were burst you know some illness some some sickness some of those things were, were definitely um matters of things that were happening you know there were so i can say so much about this it's like i don't want to go on a full tangent but like neptune t-square full moon it's it's confusing it can be really freaking confusing as well like, like don't really see things clearly can't feel things clearly yeah it's not not the easiest of full moons i would say well, and, and wasn't we, there yeah, the the uh, Mars and Aries with Chiron or something like that as that, well? Yeah, that happened as well. And I think we talked about it, you know, uh, in our last part. It's a painful trigger, you know. It's it's like I said. I think last week it was it, it's uncomfortable, uncomfortable. But I think also, you know, if if you manage to take the action right now, or you know managed to take the action this week even things should be better That's the good. wounds should should be cut off i feel or, like i have like a hangover from it like i feel like i'm still just oh yeah. I, I i also can share a little bit like it was a quite an intense week it, it was like a i would say like a triggering city like trigger city it's like, trigger oh, city yeah it, oh like on hurt. uh what's that movie uh, uh 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 the katniss everdeen one where they have katniss all the pods Who is that? where they have all the pods at the end and they trigger oh, it all it's, it's uh, the, um, the mocking jay oh my jay. god what the hell yeah. Hunger Games. But that movie, Hunger Games, yes. And at the end, when they're like going through the city and all those things get triggered and they're like death traps, that's like exactly what. It, okay, yeah, Trigger City. Yeah. Yeah, it just triggered a lot of things internally inside of me, like weird things as well, like that I didn't expect to trigger. And, and these were back and I had to look at them. I had to ground myself so much. I was really tired. I was so freaking tired, emotionally worn out. You know, and when usually, guys, if, if you're listening, watching this, is like if you're seeing yourself in that situation, usually something similar is happening with other people around you as well. And if you have to navigate th that and if you have to manage their triggers as well and, and, you know, to try to or do your best to get things done, 
can keep things moving <laughs> you know in business in life in, in family you know it, it can take a lot out of you it can take a lot out of you physically emotionally you know you know so you know i'm uh, i gotta say I'm, I'm a little bit glad that this that this week is uh ending <laughs> and these transits are finishing up mm. so are we heading into like lighter times mm. <laughs> oh god like 2022 forget about it basically it's like i hate to be a complainer but i'm i feel like i'm complaining a little bit right now <laughs> normally i like have that warrior spirit and i'm like yeah let's go like and i'm excited and i'm ready but right now like i feel like i got taken into the depths of my mind like so, like, basically what happened for me, I was in physical pain. Like, I had this, I have this, like, health thing that goes on every once in a while, and I'm, I've decided I'm going to heal it now. But uh, it's, like, pain on, uh, beyond anything that I could ever describe to anyone. And um, so it takes you into the limits because you can't, you can't escape it because it's an organ it's in your body there's nothing you can do there's no medication you can take there's nothing there's literally nothing so i basically found where the limit in my mind of pain is and i i reached the threshold essentially and um it was an interesting experience i wouldn't like it's not for the week of the week of heart, I would say. Um, I've reached it and I'm still alive. So <laughs> that's what I'm happy about. I, I, I can't really even describe what that's like because it was just such a personal experience. Um, and I'm used to testing limits, but not in that way. So it was quite intense, quite intense. I'm glad you actually bring it up because this stirs up a memory uh, from my memory banks and I have a not not a medical condition story of, of similar capacity but I have a story it's a quite a short one but and it's like again testing the limits is is <laughs> at the core of this and it happened I think like I think seven something years ago when I was like I was obviously done playing basketball from a level of, of like getting paid for it and everything like that. But I was still like going to basketball games and still for as a hobby playing basketball, you know, and I had a game and I, I kind of like hurt myself a little during the game, you know, basketball, quite a physical sport, hurt myself during the game, but it wasn't anything serious, you know, played it onwards, you know, hurt a little bit after, went home, N nothing really serious. And then it got wild, like crazy wild, because I was living alone at the time, you know, totally bachelor lifestyle, whatever you want to call it, alone in my apartment in the, in the you know, almost in the middle of the city. You know, it's a, it was a fun time as well in, in a lot of ways. But the point is, I was totally alone and I was already in bed and, you know, nobody basically near me. And suddenly this injury or this pain started like out of the blue coming back and it, this was like pain i have almost like i would say never experienced at all because it was like almost like quietly coming in and it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and it, i was at the time i was really getting into the habit of of let's say you know, trusting my body and, and feeling into things and feeling into emotions. And I was le really learning that world on a very, very deep level. And it decided like, you know, to go even very, very deeply into that pain as well. But now this is the crux of the situation. It was, it got to that amount of pain where I was literally, I had my phone in my hand in the other hand because the, the the pain was in my elbow 
and I had the phone, I had the emergency, you know, I had it like ready to be dialed because it was getting so freaking wild and wilder by the second. And I, I started almost like blacking out of that physical pain, but like something inside of me, something outside of me, I could, you could say it's God, universe or, or, or whatever it was. It was like, like stay with it, like be with it, stay with it. And I did almost blacked out, just like excruciating pain. But the minute I you know, kind of like stayed with it or made the final decision of putting the phone away, started almost immediately relaxing. And this was the wildest thing about this weird pain. It never returned. It was done in that moment. I, it, the injury, it wasn't even an injury after that. And I literally fell asleep and it was done. <laughs> so basically, basically, basically that the, the moral of the story for me, I, I always use it in my memory bank as a, like a literally of what my mind, body, consciousness can do mm -hmm. if I really put my, you know, everything in it. Mm -hmm. and I can get through it, I can feel through it, you know, I'm not saying, you know, you can do this with everything, but it's, yeah, you know, we, we were talking about putting limits on ourselves. Well, I think that's what scared me about this one was because I norm like what you're describing there, that's what I normally do. Like normally it's like a one day thing where I just like go deep. And then as soon as I kind of figured the thing out, it all relaxes and I can sleep. And then maybe it takes a day to recover. This was like, unlike. It was, it was far beyond anything I've ever experienced far beyond. And, um, yeah, so it did allow me to stretch that limit and know that I can go into whatever the deepest pain is and, and most excruciating physical pain and survive it. And the thing that's crazy is like emotional pain. Hit me with emotional pain all day. <laughs> Actually, don't, but... <laughs> I just want to say that. Probably not. <laughs> just kidding. Don't. But like emotional pain versus physical pain i will take emotional pain every day of the week um and i feel like i can like flow with that and jive with that and i sort of have like some kind of a i don't know grasp or handle but physical pain is so rare like it doesn't happen all the time unless you like have an accident or have some kind of health thing or whatever and it just shows you like if you really don't have your health you don't really have anything and so many like I mean, I'm in healthcare. So one of my biggest beefs is like, people don't have a healthcare team. Like you should have, you should have your doctor. You should have, you should have a acupuncturist. You should have a chiropractor. You should, you should have every, you should have an osteopath. You should have uh, a naturopathic doctor. You should literally have one of everything or multiple of everything because why the hell not? Like, seriously, I don't know. I think, I think people don't take their health seriously enough and they'll, you know, you don't bat an eye at spending like 200 bucks when you go out partying, but 200 bucks to go to a naturopath appointment is too much. I don't know. Maybe there's a choice there. I think there's definitely a choice, huge choice. And I, I think a lot of people are choosing the, the first one. It's like that you don't get to complain. <laughs> I would say, like for me, it's like, yeah, good, but don't complain. <laughs> making making decisions. <laughs> it's probably a good 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 a title for this episode. <laughs> well, I hear the complaints all the time, and I'm like, you know, I don't, I don't judge people for it, but at the same time, I'm like, you know, you have to make different choices. If nothing changes, nothing changes. So you know, what are you going to choose? What are you going to choose tomorrow? It doesn't have to be today. It could be tomorrow, but you know, we only get so many beautiful days on this planet and I want to make the most out of every single one. I don't want to be in pain and suffering all the time. 
Yeah, this doesn't sound too fun. So make better choices, guys, if you're listening to this. <laughs> so, that's a broad, like, broad way of giving somebody advice. You know, you should probably make some better <laughs> choices in your life. Oh my like, like a school counselor type of thing. Yeah. Like, well, <laughs> I don't know why, but I kind of want to talk about like, I, I want to switch it up because I feel like this is just so, ooh, it's so heavy to talk about. And like, mm -hmm. I feel like I want to get out of it, you know, like I, I personally am emotionally done with feeling pain <laughs> in my body. Um, and I was thinking like, have you ever had any, I mean, what I would call a, like a mystical experience? Have you had any of those? Like yes. something like, yes, like a, a closing, lot. a lot? A lot, a lot. Like, to, um, I, <laughs> yeah, you know, I've told you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I'm lacking in the, like when I go through these things, I'm like, hmm. ah, I feel like I'm lacking in the now. Now, where are the mystical things coming in? Like, uh, I went through this thing. Now, where's all the the good that's gonna come in from it? Um, I also want the cookie. You want the cookie immediately? I want the cookie. <laughs> I, I like I deserve the cookie. <laughs> you want the cookie? Well, I mean, okay. So I did kind of have a mystical experience while I was while I was not feeling well. So I went to go see my friend who's an osteopath and um, it was like, I said a prayer at the beginning. She's like, can you say a prayer? Cause we're like, we're just both on the same kind of like level with that. And, um, and so I started off saying this prayer and it just got, the energy just changed in this way that I can't describe. And then while we were working, it was like at the end, she like had her hands on my head or something like that. And it was like, I felt this warmth on my forehead and it was like this golden light started piling into my forehead and then coming into my whole body. And then it put me in like this golden egg. And then I was like in this golden egg for like three days, even though, you know, the pain still kept going on and all that. It was like, I still was in this mystical moment. So I guess I shouldn't be such a whiner, but... <laughs> So you got the cookie quite quickly. Kind of got the cookie, but yeah, it was cool because it was. Just, it felt like healing. Mm. It felt amazing. It felt divine. Yeah, well, it, that sounds awesome. And yeah, and you invited it in. Yeah, beautiful. Well done, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell us about your experience. <laughs> Like, like, if I, if I even take this week for me, it's it was like uh, I, I really even felt because there was this like myriad of of everything happening all at the same time while I was you know processing everything that was going on within myself, everything outside of me was going on at the same time, mm -hmm. and you know what it what it did was I went quite deeply into prayer and I was like you know could really use some magic right now or some proof that like my my spirit team is with me you know mm. and you know for me a lot of that proof has always come in the way of of seeing something as well it's not always about seeing something but very often it, it is about seeing and you know for for those of you who guess I, I, I think just people experience spirit experience these things very differently vastly differently what i've experienced what people have shared with me and you know i know a lot of people don't see at all or they think they don't see at all and they feel or you know something else happens to them etc etc but for me the seeing is is almost like you know, it's almost like a next level for me personally to prove it to me. And after that prayer, I really started getting, you know, flashes of these, you know, we can call them spirit or we can call them energies or whatever you want to call them. 
almost everywhere like almost everywhere it's like constantly see flash here flash here and and for me that was like a like a, again a little bit of a okay so yes going through harder and difficult things right now is painful triggering hurtful um even unknown i would say a lot of unknown happening and uh for me that was like okay whew, so at least i'm not deserted you know by the by the <laughs> spiritual helpers that i have come i've become so closely connected to and that gave me a little bit of an extra boost extra uh, extra um, force to get through a lot of these things that we were going through you know collectively how, as well yeah yeah totally how how like how close are you with your spirit team and stuff and how did you get that close i feel like i'm pretty close these days closer than i've ever been i think you know things have been usually really quickly happening um how did i get so close a lot of prayer a lot mm -hmm. of dedication a lot of asking question and listening and taking action i would that's a that's a sh sh short <laughs> summary of that's the recipe <laughs> what i've done basically and of, obviously like people like you you know ex sharing your experience and, and you know sharing your healing things with me and doing your healing things and you know people like joe greenland and in in the meditation and and people like that coming into my life um have really opened up that like almost like constant communion with with the spirit realm more so mm -hmm. than i was doing before because before it was like almost like a you know, like a hobby like not, not like a hobby but it was like kind of like um here and there here and there a little <laughs> bit something happening you know i, I was feeling yeah. i had all these I, I can talk a lot about those magical experiences those big experiences I, I, I had those before that but like now it's 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 almost like the 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 need for those big and magical experiences has evaporated a little bit and it's, it's, it's become more like a constant dedication, I would say, back and forth with, mm. with that realm. So the week <sighs> of the week, the week ahead for the world and the cosmic adult. <laughs> Week we're adults doing, world. We're doing oh nice like Wayne's world. But we're doing the week of eighteenth till the twenty no, we're doing uh, nineteen nineteenth to the twenty fifth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Do you want to start with astrology? What's that looking like? I mean, like we're we're in a pretty interesting obviously I I Every time I look at a wheel, I'm like, oh, we're in a pretty interesting time. <laughs> <laughs> so that's sort of like an astrologer thing to say. But we, we, we're, let's say maybe the more, a little bit of a, like more intense things for a second in time, moment in time, have a little bit left. But the week starts still with Saturn and Venus square. So Saturn Venus square. Okay, Saturn is retrograde right now. So the heaviness of Saturn is less felt, let's put it that way, but it's still Venus and Saturn square. So a little bit of a heaviness in relationships, harder to understand each other in relationships, tightness with money, you know, being a little bit even stingy with money, maybe a little bit of fears, with money even fears around relationships you know it, that can happen easily with this square and not to even like i will add to it a little bit because the the moon right now is is building up to a conjunction to saturn of course moon is a little bit of a faster moving influence so it it, it you know will almost immediately evaporate but for a moment especially if you're listening to this you know on the 19th 
um, of June. Uh, it, it is an emotionally heavy time. So people, if you're looking at them and like mm, a little bit down on themselves, a little bit more serious, a little bit more practical, hard to, to even emotional distance can come with, with um, Moon Saturn conjunction. And like the in, internal, the heaviness can be really felt here. So this is one of the things that, let's say, kicks off the week or the two things that really kick off uh, the week. But like maybe if we want to talk about um, good things. <laughs> or and we, well, what's crazy is that my like intuitive thing for cosmic guidance for the 19th was intense is the word uh, probably agree <laughs> mostly agree. probably like, <laughs> mostly agree with that intense um, good intense bad who knows um like if i'm looking at this it's more on the serious more on the heavier side of, of intensity Let, let's put it that way if if i want to mm -hmm. like tie it to astrology as well nice well the 20th, I was getting deep breath. Deep breath. I mean, uh, for me, that's a really good thing to do anyway. <laughs> yeah, regardless <laughs> of the day. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I think one of the points of this, for, at least for me, how I see it, like the cosmic guidance that you bring is, is to, like, a lot of the times it's a remembering to do it as well like and even you know specifically it can be on that specific day it's especially important but like if you see one of our posts if if you hear this maybe you listen to this later in the week and you remember like deep breath and maybe you're like going through something really heavy you know saturn venus <laughs> can be a little bit heavy like maybe not that heavy but still like taking that deep breath and like ooh, okay things are a little more clear now and I can maybe make at least a little bit of a better decision than being all riled up uh, from the intensity <laughs> that happened you know, the day before, for example. Mm -hmm. um, can I, uh, why don't I just go through and do this and then you could talk astrology? Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so the 21st, I was feeling get even, which... I didn't love because I'm like, it feels like, like kind of manipulative and like very like conniving and saucy, but hey, it could be anything. It could be anything, but I just trust. Um, and then the 22nd is master it. The 23rd is squeeze. And I, I see kind of like, uh, like a tunnel that's like, like, I don't know. It's very interesting. It's hard to describe. Uh, 24th, that's the Friday. I feel marginalized. That it might be a bit of a, uh, like a separation day. Feeling a bit separated. Um, that's okay. Um, and then the 25th, Saturday is quiet. Quiet. I actually love being quiet. Doesn't really show here on the pod, <laughs> but um, I do like being quiet. Mm -hmm. um, from an astrological point of view, you know, when we're looking at the week or we're, we're, like, what do I want to say about this week? This is a weird week where there are movements there are like sun is changing signs sun is moving into the sign of cancer you know a little bit more emotional water is sign for the sun so you know when that happens when the sun it's a huge influence of the, the sun obviously but when that happens it can be that you know a little bit we tend to almost be distracted by our emotions or feelings when 
you know, at times we should be maybe focusing a little bit more on, on material creation or, or work things. These emotional things, the emotional feelings, these family matters, they are a little bit more on the surface for, you know, that Cancerian period. And um, I'm not saying it's bad or good or whatever, but I, I am saying that is there is a tendency for that to happen and people be more emotional, almost like... It's, it's whenever cancer season comes our way, you know, it, it is a bit of a like, a, you, you, st you need to sometimes almost guess what the other person is feeling because they don't really, they don't really want to tell you and everybody's a little bit more sensitive and more emotional, which is good for intuitive matters and creative pursuits and healing things, obviously, but sometimes we also need to do some um, more let's say aggressive <laughs> movements in the world. So this is where uh, cancer can a little bit distract us. But I would say it's it's still the cancer season is, is a good time to be in tune with the feelings and, and even in tune with other people's sensations and feelings because it, it kind of like offers us that space and offers us that sensitivity and acute sensitivity with the feelings to be in that space so that's i would say a more positive positive side and you know people become more caring people can become more caring and nurturing and and want to help each other as well uh, so that's i would say a positive thing that's uh, good i feel like that's definitely something we could use these days <laughs> everyone caring about each other i i, I don't want to stop make it feel like this utopian like whatever but like yeah we could use more care for sure yeah isn't I, cancer like also a very like nurturing sign like there's exactly. care but there's like the nurture which is like that next level it is um i think i want to talk about one thing that is happening again a little bit beginning of the week middle-ish of the week i would say more beginning of the week because it's a bit of a harder one and it's venus with alcohol and venus is a lot to do with obviously like money and, and matters but it's also to, to do with feminine energies and female energies and alcohol like i think if you're a listener to this podcast you know alcohol the negative side of alcohol is aggressiveness um you know even violence and accidents and and you know i would say in, if i you know, use one word with alcohol it's like aggressiveness like it's almost like intensity now i know it's two words but like it's still uh quite similar energies there that i've seen literally with the in the world like making observations in the in in our i would say modern world now when it these two meet the fixed star algal and venus the representative of women um obviously there can be like even you know people harassing women i would say um you know people like following like you know sketchy things like that happening i don't want to focus on too much of that but it is, it is a little bit of a i would say a, a heavier energy especially for for the women beginning of the week and and um you know even even people being sexually aggressive you know that can happen with this combination as well mm, like so if you're a dude yeah. out there it's time to protect your female friends type thing i would i would definitely recommend that and and you know when we're talking about these days like the 21st 20 let's say the 20th 21st uh, depending a little bit where you are and it does behoove one's oneself to be a little bit maybe especially if you're a woman to be more privately inside you know doing something behind the scenes a little bit more than uh, maybe being you know going out on a new date or something i would probably recommend that that's a yeah just like not not recommending a lot of those things uh, there are other things that are coming to mind i don't really want to say them on this uh 
podcast but like ladies be careful on those days and maybe you know spend time behind the scenes like doing some beauty routines or maybe you know doing some research on relationships and then you know alcohol is a lot about esoteric matters as well so i would say these two the combo of these two is like if you want to dive into relationship astrology maybe you know don't go too crazy with it <laughs> like i've said on this podcast for a couple of times <laughs> but at least you know you know these things like tarot and, and you know you can you can play around with these and go a little bit deeper and uh, to ground that energy um and you know later on in the week venus will change signs so it will be further away from algal and will in, in, enter into gemini so um, as sun leaves gemini now venus enters gemini and you know that social life of you know what what venus actually wants and, and bring and gemini wants to communicate and wants to talk that social life will will you know, let's say receive a tiny boost or even a bigger boost we can say and we enjoy talking we enjoy communicating we enjoy uh, sending messages to one another you know th th maybe that like a little bit of a negative thing with with venus and gemini is that you know you can become a little bit of a social butterfly you know just go here talk blah 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 go to another place talk blah 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 but th there's no real substance so if you can use that cancerian energy there with it as well like if you're having a conversation maybe you know do your best to care actually about the con conversation and and through your ver words you know nurture the other you know let, let's put it that way i think that's a maybe a positive note <laughs> to end this astrological report with that was of like venus and all, all and all these bad things yeah well i mean ultimately everything is what you make it so just try and have the best week you can <laughs> do your best to have the most awesome week you can and yeah um us at cosmic adults we are already i think feeling that cancerian emotional energy a little bit here as you can probably feel from the other side of the screen <laughs> but um yeah yeah your girl your girl is hurting for sure and um you know we we want i think part of the reason we wanted to even record this episode is because we we we, we got we went through a lot of things we went through a lot of emotional stuff ourselves we kind of like wanted to still show up at least that was for me i wanted to still show up and and share some of it and and um kind of like make it okay that you know in my mind like i constantly you know when i show up i'm like usually my hair is even like you know weird way but like it's, it's okay to show up and be a human you know you don't have to be perfect all the time you don't have to you know be a human express yourself maybe you are a little bit of in a tougher, tougher space but even in those tougher spaces emotional spaces there's a lot of good things that are happening there and it's okay to be in those spaces and even for the outside society not be perfect yeah nice <laughs> It's not lost on me and um yeah i think that that was it for me too i was like even though i'm going through whatever i'm going through and i know i need space and time to heal and do all these things i'm like i i still wanted to do the thing that i mean i like doing this i i love doing this so i wanted to continue doing that as well as yeah to show up and be the human that I am because I go through things like all the time, <laughs> constantly. And, you know, when we come on the podcast, sometimes maybe we're bubbly and happy and laughing and da -da -da. and of course that's like, yes, that's probably our most natural state of being, but also, yeah, we're freaking humans. Yeah. I want to say guys, uh, forget about having the most amazing and best week for a while. And just show up as a human being you know maybe that's maybe that's a good way to kind of like wrap this 
podcast. Just I'll be real. Be, be human and just show be up. Be real. Be honest with how you're feeling. <laughs> just show up. Awesome. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Okay. Cosmic Bye. Out. Be out.